Now, I want to re review with you just briefly some, uh, some angiograms that were done because this will show you scientifically how the disease reversal occurs with an, ang with an angiogram. This is a 67-year-old retired pediatrician, and you're looking at the left anterior descending. This is as small an improvement as the eye can see from the left here over to the right here. A little easier to see in this 58-year-old uh, uh, factory worker where you're looking at the circumflex artery to the back of the heart. This was described as a 20% improvement from here over to here. A little easier to see yet in this 54-year-old security guard, the right coronary artery. And here, this was described as a 30% improvement from here to here. Now this is a surgical colleague, a friend of mine. This is Joe Crow. In 1996, Dr. Crow began to get chest pain. Mm -hmm. So cardiology worked him up and uh, could find nothing in October of 96. And Joe had a cholesterol of 156. He was not diabetic. He was not hypertensive did not have a strong family history. He was not overweight. He exercised regularly. So four weeks later, November of 1996, he finished his surgical schedule and he sat down to write post-operative orders. The elephant suddenly sitting on his chest, pain in his left jaw, shoulder, arm, having a heart attack. <laughs> Whipped down to the cath lab, Start the catheterization, cardiac arrest, resuscitate, finish the catheterization, one more cardiac arrest, resuscitate. Then he's sent up to the floors where he stabilizes and he's discharged three days later, but very depressed. He was depressed, why? He was depressed because at the time of the angiogram, they were able to find that the entire lower one third of his left anterior descending coronary artery, the Widowmaker, was all moth-eaten and diseased over this segment. And you cannot just ram in and jam in stent after stent after stent. And it was too far down the artery to have a bypass. So Joe was very depressed. So Ann and I had Joe and his wife out for dinner two weeks after his heart attack. Ah, oh, Joe, come on. You've been eating this typical Western diet. You've got the typical Western disease. Why don't you think about going plant-based? We've got 10 years of data. Okay, yes, I'll give it a shot. But I'm not taking any of those statin drugs. I don't trust them. Too many side effects. Hey, not a problem. That's your call. He became the absolute personification of commitment to plant-based nutrition. And over the next 30 months, his total cholesterol plummeted. His LDL went from 98 to 38. And then he had another angiogram. Now up in the surgical suites, my office was three or doors away from his. So at noontime, I went over to his office, opened the door, and there he was sitting behind his desk. I said, Joe, I understand you had the follow-up angiogram earlier this morning. You mind sharing with me? How did it go? He said, well, he came around, put his arms around me, a couple of these. He said, I think we're doing okay. I said, well, would there be any chance that I could see the <laughs> angiogram? Yes. Now, what really, this is not going to happen to everybody. But when the plaque is young and soft and made up of inflammation, fat, and cholesterol, the body can do a remarkable job of reconstituting itself. When the plaque has been there for decades and it's filled up with scar and fibrosis and calcification, you're probably not going to budget much. Maybe a little remodeling. You certainly help the vessel wall around it. But it's going to be my job today to make sure that you understand that even those patients where you will not see this type of graphic reversal. Even those patients are going to reverse their disease in a manner where they can re 
may return to full activities of daily living without restriction. And we'll get to that in a few moments. Actually, maybe a few minutes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, what was particularly interesting was that I wanted to know, in the 18 patients who stayed with us throughout the 12 years, I wanted to know how many cardiovascular events that they had had while they were in the care of expert cardiologists during the eight years prior to coming into our study. They had these progressive events of disease you see listed here and these 49 events. Now, these 18 patients, once they came into our study over the next 12 years, 17 of those 18 had no further events. We did have one little sheep who wandered from the flock. After six years, got into the lamb chops and the glazed donuts, french fries, more pain, bypass. Now he's back with the flock. But he proves the point that I'm trying to share with you today. <clears throat> 